Welcome to the 22nd episode of the Dragon Master campaign. My name is Harrison Weiss and I am your Dungeon Master. The recap from last episode is we did the graduation ceremony. Loaf really needs to go grab his microwave and his book that he owes some people. But before that can happen, we're going to go ahead and finish the graduation ceremony. So it kind of says, now that that show is done, Roger's a good friend of mine. He's a member of the Order of the Tides and... We maintain a, a healthy, distant relationship. That's the best word for it. We have a distant relationship. And I think it's time for everybody to go ahead and grab the the items that you get for graduating. So we have the diplomas. Actually, Loaf, you want to go grab your stuff first, and then we'll hand all the items besides the diploma? I wouldn't really call it my stuff if you're taking it, but yeah, I'll go get it. Yeah, 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 go, go grab that, not your stuff. All right, uh, Loaf goes to the... Uh... The storage area. Uh, you make it to the town center, and you want to grab the easy oven and the Chronicles of Ember Peak. Yep. You've gone and gotten the stuff from the storage. You're now back. You're holding the microwave out in front of you, and the book is in your backpack, I presume. Uh, I guess I'll give the uh, microwave to the guy first because it's the you know it's heavy. So he pulls out his bag and uh, gestures for you to drop it in it. You want me to just just drop it in? Yeah, yeah, just drop it in. All right, and I just, like, let go. Okay, and it drops in, and as soon as it hits the bottom of the bag, it appears in your seat. Okay. Uh... <laughs> uh all right. And then he turns into a bird and then jumps into the bag and disappears. Huh. The bag is now sitting there on the on the stage. Just... Wait, so you're saying the... Okay, all right. Stoic walks over and picks up the bag. All right, uh... That's Valakut. That, yeah, you can ignore him. I think that's his way of saying you can keep the microwave. Oh, all right. Well, what was that all about then? Honestly, I, I'm not really sure, but Juan definitely wants his book back. All right, let me find let me find Juan. Where's Juan at? I'm right here, and he waves his hand on the other side of the stage. Hey, Juan, I got your book. It's Professor Juan. Yeah, quiz me later on that, okay? <laughs> yeah, sure. Which book were you talking about again? The Chronicles of Ember Peak. Are you sure that was the book that you needed? I lift it up and point at it. This one. Yeah. This book, and I wave it around. But, like, I don't hand it. Yeah, that one. That's the one. <sighs> All right, sure. And then I just, like, I just, like, hand it to him. All right. Thank you, Loaf. I guess. Sounds like we're ready to move on. Oh, perfect, perfect. Everybody go ahead, grab a seat. That's everybody. And Bazine says, that's a cool microwave, dude. Uh, yeah. When did you get that? Oh, um, a while ago I got it. You'll have to tell me that story later. Yeah, I mean, you know, when I have time. Okay, yeah. A busy day, you know, don't really need to yes, be very rattling busy day. on and storytelling stuff. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so everybody, here is your stuff that you get for graduating. Oh, Ooh. a rare candy? Congratulations, Tracker class. You had the most graduates this year. That's your 13th trophy. Congratulations. That's a big deal. And the uh, valedictorian, please come to the stage. That is Yori. Yori, come on up. And everybody clap. Are you kidding me? <laughs> big round of applause. Art is furious. <laughs> Yori, come on up. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I, I don't have anything prepared. Uh, yeah, go. And I, I like push you forward a little bit. Perfect, here you go. Here's Mike. Art starts ripping up a piece of paper he had on him just, like, <laughs> ridiculously fast. Please roll a d20. Me? Yes. Okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's a 15. Okay, with a 15, you did not rip up your diploma. <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of diploma is it? You are safe. You did not rip up, I up feel the like diploma. I would have a choice whether or not it was my diploma. I was trying to add something, you jerk. That's the closest paper to him, you know? He would have just ripped it. You're right. Yori, go ahead and give your valedictorian speech. Here's here's Mike, and he hands you Mike. I'm going to kind of hold him, and do I speak into the, to the head or the hands or the... The hands! The, the hands! The hands, oh, sir! The hands! Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna grab his hands very gingerly and just, like, touch it and, like, hello? Yeah. And you sound twice as loud as you would have otherwise. Okay. That's cool. Um, yeah. Go Dragons. Woo! Yeah. We, we graduated. 
Go ahead, roll performance. It's a 15. Whoa. 15. The whole room claps for you. That was the, that was a great speech. Even Everybody's art. pretty excited about it. <laughs> Even Art. Wow. Wow. Your parents are super proud of you. Your mom kind of starts tearing up, honestly. And was there anything else that you wanted to add before you stepped off, or is that all? No, that's that's it. Perfect. Perfect. Go grab a seat. Good speech, Yori. Thank you for that lovely motivation. And says, that's really all I have for you guys. That's all I have for you. Go Dragons, like you already said. Go Dragons! Woo! <laughs> at, at this point in your career, you kind of want to start looking for internships for the rest of the year. So feel free to ask around. I know there's a couple different internships going around. I know Dante takes a couple people. Gandalf takes a couple people. I usually take a couple people. You know, Stoic, you can find me in the Haddock home. And then I know Hermione is simply looking for some people for the internship. Art nudges Loaf. Like, hey, man, <laughs> get you that internship. And that's it. Congratulations, everybody. And everybody claps one more time, the final time. And then everybody starts to disperse. And Yori, your family all goes to hug you one more time. They're very proud of you. Uh, is there anything that you want to say to them before they head back home? Oh, no. Is my cat okay? Is Spencer okay? Yeah, Spencer's doing great. Okay, okay, great. You don't have anything to worry about okay. there. Okay, good, good. Is that a skillet in your backpack? Yeah. Are you cooking things now? Yeah. Not very good, my wow. dude. I like interject. I beg to differ. I mean, <laughs> yeah, of course you're going to beg to differ. It doesn't make a difference. Really, it's it's about a workman's tools, you know, rather than the actual actual workman, you know. Understood. Okay, awesome. Well, feel free to visit the Kenneral store anytime that you... And obviously, you'd have a supreme discount at everything at, at the Kenneral store. So feel free to stop by if you need anytime. Including the loot crates, right? Yeah, the loot crates are like half price. Heck yeah. What? What are the suppliers like? Are they, uh... <laughs> same supplier that we've been doing the last couple of weeks it's not the one that, that you had four weeks ago but right now uh five weeks ago sorry but we, we've moved on to a new supplier from x <laughs> they've honestly been a lot more reasonable yeah a, a lot of people really think it's worth the money are they still like you know is it still cheap i feel like it's some cheap goods you know from country overseas or something it's definitely worth the price i don't think it's too cheap are you sure it's not built in some factory yeah, i'm pretty sure made somewhere that all right Nope, it's good. Okay, all right. That's pretty good. You should stop by. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Cool. Loaf, you want to say anything to Bazin before he leaves? Father, yeah. Sorry I wasn't uh, the valedictorian and all that, so... You graduated, man. That's awesome. You did great. Yeah, I, yeah I'm proud of yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I know I'm not the, the, the number one uh, dragon rider on the planet, but, you know, yeah, I'm working on it eventually. We can't all be the best dragon rider in the whole planet. Yeah. I mean, there was this time where the queen was really proud of me. And the Spider King. He was really proud of me as well. Over and brought the, the Spider-Man was really honestly like my favorite experience that I've ever had. It was this really strong kin there. You should visit Brat sometime. My hometown. We're at the Spider King and Spider-Man. Yeah, I, I, yeah, for sure. Uh, we, we will go that way sometime in the future. I would think. Maybe. I mean. Just stay away from Misty Mountains, all right? Why is that? You know, the story that I told you growing up? The you told me about, about the misty mountains, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm aware, but I mean, that, you came out ring a bell? You came out okay. I mean, you know? Barely. I mean, you lost your uncle there, so it's... It, Jeez. Yeah, that's, that's fair. It, that is it's a, kind of a rough... It's a, it's a rough story. That's fair. Uh, I do recall that. All right, well, yeah. It was nice to see you, Loaf, and he gives you a nice big hug. Thanks, Dad. Go, uh, go have fun with your your beer and stuff so and i pat him a little bit and then push away a little and then walk off and then bazine leaves art goes to try to hug bazine as he leaves but <laughs> is not seen oh you want to roll for if you're seen or, yeah, or do you think do you're that. just not seen you go ahead and roll to see if you're seen yeah roll stealth <laughs> i got a four you were definitely not seen no <laughs> so bazine just walks away Loaf turns around and walks away. He walks directly into Hermione, and Hermione says, Hey, Loaf, how's it going? Oh, hey. You graduated. Yeah, yeah, well, of course I graduated. You know, I mean, it, it wasn't that hard. Did you guys have an internship lined up? I'm looking for three people for my internship. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm down. Uh, what, what for, though, actually? So it's all about collecting data on dragons. So you'll be doing lots of exploring, going to different places, discovering new islands. 
and just finding where dragons are habitated and where they what they eat and that kind of stuff. Is that something that'd be, that'd be interesting to you guys? And all three of you are kind of listening in now. I mean, yeah, like a dragon like a, decks. Okay, so are we just like a, looking like for dragon new dragons, dragons or just already discovered dragons? Or are we just all dragons? Like, is it? So it's going to be a mixture of both. You're really looking for all dragons, whether they're new to Burke or they're new to you. You're really just going to record as much data as possible. Even if it's already on a known dragon species, we still want you to collect your data so that we can have as many data points as possible. When we're collecting the data, are we already going to have data on ones previously discovered, or is it just going to be completely an empty you're not, slate? You're not. You're not. Uh, we're not. Okay. It'll be empty. It'll be an empty okay. slate. Yeah. Yeah. So, gotcha. Uh, There's like a little hideout that I have in the library. You guys want to go see it? Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, 100. Yeah, sure. Uh, Art, what do you think? Are, are you in it too? I mean, that's sure. flow's going, yeah. Like, Love, you coming? Yeah, yeah. Come on, Art. We'll uh, we'll see what's going on here. Let's go. Let's go. And the four of y'all head to the library. I'm presuming you guys all come. Yes. Yeah. You go into the library. You take the first left. And it's her little yeah. space where she has a lot of research papers and a rock on the pedestal in the center of the room. It's still under a glass case. And she says, so right over here, I have this desk. If you push the desk up and then tilt it left, it opens the... Oh, there it goes. The wall just kind of slides open. So it reveals a door that you guys walk into. And you open up the door and you see a nice large hideout that has a ton of really cool objects. You see... And we're going to pause there. We're going to play a little game here. I have a couple things I want to do. How do I explain this right? So what I'm going to do right now is Hermione is going to give you some paper and she wants you to write down all of the information you already have on dragons from your adventures. Oh, Lord. Okay. From our adventures or... I want this to be clear for the record. We're going to do a couple things. So first we're going to do dragons. I want all of you to work together to make one list of all of the dragons you've encountered on the podcast. Not in the videos, but on the podcast. I'm seriously like compiling my data over here. I want the three of y'all to work together to make this (laughs) list of all the different dragons you've encountered and any specific facts about them, such as where you met them, or you don't have to write all of the facts down, but give me kind of, but what I want to see is that you have a certain number of dragons. If you meet my minimum expectation, you get one reward. If you exceed my expectation, you get two rewards. Okay. So the three of you have five minutes to create a list for me. Are we just all texting you separately, or where would you like us? I'll write it down for you if you guys tell me. Oh, okay, cool. I specifically want to know when or where you encountered them as like a reference point. I don't want you just making up names like, yeah, we did this, we saw this. I want to know when in the podcast you actually encountered it. Does that make sense? Yeah, I can start when we're ready. (laughs) Starting now. Okay, so the first that came up was actually my dragon, Hogarth the Rumblehorn, when he hatched from his egg. Good start. The second time we encountered a Rumblehorn was Stoic's full-grown Rumblehorn. Yep. Also very sweet, very kind, but also very powerful, very strong dragon. Okay, you got four minutes left. Anybody else have any? Any dragons that we've encountered? What, what was the one that we found the egg for? What was her name? Oh, the... Um, I'm trying to remember. What kind of dragon did you want? Well, the, he wanted I wanted a, a... It was a Gronkle. The Gronkle egg. A Gronkle. Yes, yeah. Gronkle. Yep, next. And then the Sea Shocker. My Sea Shocker. You were Dredagon Loaf as well. Well, what about the dragon? Didn't we fight a dragons in the, in the cave of... Uh, yeah. Uh, Yes, we what did. What the heck was it called? Um, what, sorrows? Or what were they called? Cave of uh, so, yeah. sa- Sadness and Despair, right? I'm trying to remember what they were. They were yeah. three-headed dragons. Yeah, you, we fought one small one that you whooped, and then uh, I think you missed like two arrows or something. But you, you whooped that one, and then yeah. there was another one. Shoot. Yeah. What was it? Did we ever figure out what they were? I don't remember. I know he described it. I'm just trying to remember. I don't think so. Did he? Did he show us a picture? We do know the species of, the, of that dragon. Trying to, oh, crap. trying to remember the name of it. Three minutes left. Three-headed dragon. 
for the listeners out there, this is kind of our review episode to kind of catch us all up to speed. We've taken some time off. Was it the Hydreigon, the three-headed Pokemon dragon? The Hydreigon, that's correct. Yes, yes, yes. True. I was thinking it was Blue Eyes, because Blue Eyes can be two-headed, one-headed, or three-headed. Blue Eyes, White Dragon, we would have been done, so come on. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I said it was a Pokemon. <laughs> Any other dragons that we've encountered in this campaign thus far? Oh, or maybe the, like remnants oh, of crap. them. Which ones eat the lava at the at the temple? Oh, um, they were eruptodons. Eruptodons. Yeah. yeah. At the temple. Yeah. Okay. Any other dragons, including the solo sessions? This is including last episode as well. Oh crap! I can't remember dragons. What about those small dragons that literally just flo- flew in? Those uh, oh. during the. The graduation. The, the death adders? Is that what they're called? Yeah, the... the Dead, deadly, deadly somethings? They eat deadly chickens. natters? Deadly natters. I will give you deadly natter because we discussed chickens for a nice three minutes. It was <laughs> okay. the terrible terrors that they just literally fell That's in. That's it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, they're the miniature dragons. They're really tiny. Yeah, the, like, they yeah, hunt packs. They were the annoying ones that, that was bothering Toothless in the first One minute remaining. Movie. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um. Any other dragons? I can't think. Did we see any dragons when we first went to the uh, barracks? Like the, yes. One was, of the first I episodes. I forgot the name of it. It was like up. It was. I don't remember what it was, though. Dang it. We saw a Gronkle. Was that. It might have been the Gronkle. Isn't that where we saw it? Yeah. Yeah. Originally. I think that was. Yeah, it was that Gronkle, though. Yeah. Yeah. It was the Sam's. Sam's Gronkle. Yeah, it was Sam's Gronkle. Yeah. That's right. I don't know if we've encountered any other ones. I think we're we're pretty good there. I'm satisfied with that. Yeah, I'm done. I, I, I don't think I have anything left in my tank. I think I used what I remember. Ten seconds if you want it. Nah. Okay. I concede my time. <laughs> ah, nice, okay. Deadly Natters, good. Dredagon, yeah, these are all good. Awesome. The, the ones that I would have said would have been valid would have been Ren's Dragon. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Solo sessions are valid. I stated the solo sessions are valid. So Loaf asked if his egg was a monstrous nightmare. Mm-hmm. Uh, in an early episode. We did also talk about uh, one of the eggs possibly being uh, a sentinel, didn't we? That was the Dredagon egg. We did. We we thought that uh, because of its rocky exterior, we thought it could have been a sentinel. Mm-hmm. You didn't actually see a sentinel, and you didn't no. actually interact with a sentinel egg. I actually did show you what a monster's nightmare egg looks like. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So these were the two that I had on my list. I didn't have the terrible terrors because my list didn't have the last episode. Or the deadly natters. I didn't put deadly natters on my list either. So okay. I'm going to say that you... Exceeded? I have one, two, three, four. I have eight on my list. Oh, so we whooped it. And you tied my list. You met my expectation. So Imagine. that is one reward. You're kidding. What? You were expecting us to get three. Eight is matching my numbers. It's so like, wow. Meeting my expectation is, is matching my numbers. Exceeding okay. my expectation is, I will give you so one and a half rewards here. You so have one Yori's and a half rewards for this. that we didn't get two. What do you mean? <laughs> it wasn't Yori's debate. It was actually Loaf's debate. That oh, helps. Well, so it's, no, it's nobody's fault. So you get 1.5 <laughs> rewards for this one. This 0.5 will not round up. But if you get 1.5 on another one, this was kind of meta when it comes to an actual PowerPoint I'm going to share with you right now. This is your new Dragon Dex. Oh. I'll add the Deadly Natter and the Terrible Terror. Very cool. I love the artwork for the High Dragon. It's also showing you the exact versions that you've seen. So that High Dragon is the two heads. It has the three heads. You haven't seen the one head or the egg. No, but so I know those I'd pictures smash aren't there. that thing if it was a one head. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start round two of this review game. These are no longer canon games. These are no longer Hermione giving you these. I just think these are fun, and we're going to do this a couple more times. <laughs> we're going to do the exact same game, except with different races of people. Five minutes starting now. Uh, we've met the trolls. We're at Mahogany Town. Is this in character? This is probably more out of character than in character. So, Elf, um, Loafs, or not Loaf. Where were the Elfs met? Art's uncle. And and the forest. And the forest, yeah. Yep. Human is loaf. Are Bergmites considered a I would say <laughs> that they're not they're not <laughs> this vampire. Tier. We we ran into Ooh. what do you think that lady was? Like that's not a race, that's a 
It's 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 a curse. I'll give you vampire. I'll give you vampire. It's it's it's, it's a lineage. Uh, the goblin, Mike. Yeah, that's a good one. Tieflings on the midnight train. Ooh, yeah, good pull. That's nice. Yeah. Let's see. What I just listened to that episode too. recently. <laughs> For what it's worth, I'm fully aware that David has recently listened to the 14 episodes <laughs> that have released, so he has a slight edge on this, but that's okay. Have we have we met any other types of people? Stoic is human, right? Stoic's human, yeah. Most everybody we've met at oh, there were dwarves. Remember, there were dwarves that um, Dwar- were yes. the corn situation or dawn. Yeah. Heck yeah. We ran into goblins. We ran into elves, dwarves. Did we do trolls? We didn't do. Yeah, we did trolls. trolls. Is there in Mahogany Town? Yeah. yeah. Um. Um. I think that's it, y'all. Yeah, two minutes left. I know there's at least one more valid answer that I know of. Was Was Mark a giant? He was just uh, a tall guy, right? Is a normal human? No, he's just a no. big human. Mark, I feel like was a giant because. <laughs> I never actually canonically established that Mark was a giant. Well, I did establish that he troll. was like eight feet tall. Yeah. He's a Goliath, not necessarily a giant, but like Correct. a Goliath. Correct. Yeah. I'm willing to say that he's like half giant or something of that nature. Okay. I'll give you that. That's good. Heck yeah. I'm trying to think. Where have we gone? What was the thing that I flipped over my shoulder again? Was that a. I forgot. Oh, a gnome. A gnome. A gnome. There we yeah. Are. yeah. Was that it? Is that it? Doofenshmirtz. Oh, yeah, yes. that's right. I re- <laughs> we almost had a friend, and we didn't. I thought about it. I was like, wait a second. I know I, I threw one over my shoulder. Just had to remember. Yes. Yeah, it was a gnome. Okay. We almost made Harrison talk in a very specific voice for this <laughs> entire playthrough. Yeah, almost. Almost. Okay, so I think that got all of mine. You guys exceeded. I, I did not plan for tieflings or oh, nice. giants. So hey. you guys beat me there. Good so goals. you guys exceeded. So in hindsight, we also missed Arwen, who lived in the basement of the library. He was a lizard folk. That means you got 3.5 rewards now. Let's go. We're going to play again, with this time being animals. Okay. Oh, crap. No. <laughs> so there's a good number of animals that we've encountered so far. This is including very edge case, slightly mentioned ones. Go <laughs> ahead and start now. Okay, well, so... Bergmites? Yeah, we had cats. We'll start with cats. Where have... Give me a cat example. Cottontail and yep. uh, Spencer. All right, Bergmites, Mahogany Town, Arts Wolf that he had to kill. Yep. What about those elves we met? Those are animals, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, we actually met spiders in Alex Forest. Yeah, we did, yeah. That was... Sorry, that was a bad joke. Uh, all right. Uh... <laughs> Dragons. We know of the carrier pigeons that... Don's armor uses. Was it pigeons? Yep, it was, because I asked about owls, and they said it was pigeons. Okay. But then owls, because Art talked about it. Yeah, we talked about owl bears and owls. Owl bears. Where was the owl bears mentioned? It was mentioned in the debate. Technically, bears were also mentioned in Art's debate. What about the the, the talking cow? The cows. The cows, yeah. The cows, yeah, were in the uh, storybook the talking that cows. I went to. Yeah. <laughs> a treant was also there. There's probably more stuff in the forest, right? Or no? The 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 fish, the fish that I caught in the storybook. In the quipper scale. Yeah. Yep. yeah. I think mine was a piranha, right? It was a quipper. It was a quipper, okay. There was cows, chickens. Chickens! <laughs> chickens! I feel like we're missing one. I have several more on my list at, at this moment. Is Treant not a not an animal? No. It's okay. That would have actually been more of a sentient, I think. Of a race, yeah. Okay. What is the badger mole? Or what what is that, that mole thing that I ran into in the storybook too? <laughs> the bullet. Yes. That thing terrified me. I did not want to fight him at all. Gosh, what else? Have we talked about pigs? Pandas! Panda! Panda Express! Pandas. <laughs> Loaf, what did you have to kill? One minute, 20 seconds. What happened? Did you kill a dog? Did I kill a dog? I did, Bernard. Yeah, Bernard, dog. Yeah, that's true, Bernard. Yep. Not the same as a wolf. <laughs> Correct. Poor Bernard. I just want to say, quite proud of our list. I'm not. I'm going to say it's slacking. Yeah, <laughs> I think Harris is going to have like 20. I don't remember all the animals I've ever crossed. I really remember what I eat yeah. for breakfast. So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> have we met any rats anywhere? 
Was there a rat in the the bad room that we rented? Or were there bugs? There were bugs, there were bugs I guess. There? Yeah. There are, bugs, kind of bugs? bugs are in the animal kingdom, but, right? Were they roaches? I don't think there were any bugs in the mahogany. Crap. But we got the bad room. Didn't we we squashed a bug? I don't think so. There's a hole in the wall with blood, but no bugs. Okay. I'm going to give you another minute for the animals because there's a lot. This does include insects. I should maybe clarify that. Yeah, we got spiders. Yeah. What have we seen insect-wise? I don't feel like we've... We've seen dragonflies? Messed around with that at all. I mean, we know of worms because that's obviously what... Have, we, see, have we seen horses? <laughs> we we have seen horses. Have we worm. seen horses? I know we... Have we asked about a horse, like horses to travel? Horses? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. At, yeah. At the it was at the stable. We did. Yeah, yeah. We asked about horses and they were expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And camels? I think camels, yeah, they were, had camels, camels were mentioned. They were also expensive. Yeah, all of them were. Yeah. 15 seconds. <laughs> what about the gnome that I threw over my shoulder? Would he be in this <laughs> That was a sentient being. A, a bat. Because the, oh, yeah, he turned um, into... the vampire turned into a bat. That's true. A, that's one I did not have. Nice. So you guys have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 18, 19. You have 19 animals. Bat, bear, bergmite, bullet, camel, cat, chickens, cows, dog, dragon, horse, owl, owl bears, panda, pigeon, quipper, spiders, wolf, worms. Deer. Dang it. I did not write bat or worms, so well done on that one. From what I have written down Crap. is you are missing... A rabbit's foot, too, is a part of this at some point, too. Crap. I don't think a rabbit's foot ever came in. You guys are missing deer. Yeah. Deer have been mentioned multiple times. Yeah, Art hunts deer for leather in his uncle's leather shop. Mm. You guys missed dragonflies because they were mentioned at the market. I was, I was going to say that. Dang. When we claimed that there was a dragonfly behind Mark. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We also canonically established ladybugs in that scene because Art said if it was a ladybug, I would have left it be. Wow. <laughs> Crap. I don't remember. I need to go back and listen to that episode. Apparently, the, I don't remember that at all opening sequence of the campaign where Loaf had a dream was about a, a hawk. Hawk. I was going to ask him what that oh, was. Oh, yeah. What, a... what was Doofenshmirtz looking for that got him in trouble? Oh, a lizard. A lizard. God. And wow. very early in the season. Wait, Yori, did you want to bring your cat, Spencer? I, you know, you're allowed to bring cats, toads, or owls with you to the school. Toads. Dang. And that is my list. I had 21 animals, so you guys are short. I will give you that 0.5. I'm going to round it up for you. So you have four <laughs> wow. rewards so far. We were short. So in hindsight, we also encountered crows outside of the potion shop one. We also encountered a raven in episode 19 when Yori cast Find Familiar. Last game, you got five minutes. It's going to be fruit and vegetables, starting now. Quiche. Quiche. Corn. Corn is the first good answer. Yeah. Bergmites. Bergmites is not a fruit or vegetable. Thank you. (laughs) Next. Oh, I thought we were talking about food in general. Sorry. Also, when did corn get mentioned? When he stole it at the very beginning. That's true, I did. Yeah, I wouldn't say stole it. It it was there. (laughs) Gosh, look in your inventories, guys. Oh, crap. Uh, The mart has a carrot. Oranges from the... Where's the oranges from? From the card. Oh, yeah. Onions or beets. But I think I ran into beets during the story, too. I don't believe you. Beets? No, I had to I had to find beets and carrots and had to sell them to that lady. I don't think there were beets involved. They're not beets. The beans? Yeah, there's definitely yeah, beans. Yeah, the boozle beans. Boozle beans. Boozle beans. We could say beans in general, yeah. Yeah. Were they not beets? Were they onions? There was one other thing than carrots in the book. Let me check my notes. For sure, there was one more thing. I got the double fruit from my solo session. I have a kiwi in my inventory. <laughs> does the, the dice fruit count? It does canonically establish the fruit, yep. Nice. Not just like kiwi, but does the die of fruit count as one? No, the die of fruit is not a fruit. The die of fruit is a, is a die. What else was on there? There was kiwis, bananas. Bananas, yeah. There we go, bananas. Want, you wanted to throw the, the peel. What else could it be? A strawberry? Could it be a strawberry for a dye of fruit? That orange would have been terrible, though. <laughs> I'm glad I killed him. <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy you killed him. 
What else could it turn into? You you don't still have it because you rolled it. Crap. Harrison, did you figure out if I was right about the beat or not? Beat is incorrect. It's incorrect. Is it an I onion? I can confirm. Onion is incorrect. I can't remember. What about arcane shroom? I'm not going to accept the mushrooms here. It's technically a, it's a fungi. Yeah, I can put mushroom. I'm not going to accept all the different mushrooms, but we can put mushroom. It's fine. Mushroom, okay. <laughs> That gummit. There was one more thing in that story, and I can't remember what it is. There was one more thing in the story. It was like it was talking about, like, uh, what is that Animal Crossing game? Oh, uh, turnips. Turnips. Was it a turnip? Turnips is correct, yeah. Thank you. Heck okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I knew it was one more thing. That's great. Okay. Well, let's get the dire fruit of Ben. Because I... there were five things. It was kiwi, banana. Have we not run into an apple somewhere? Really? We probably have, but we have to say where. That's correct. <laughs> Where was that? I don't remember. One minute remaining. Loaf, it was it was in your inventory at some point. Aaron's herbs had dark berry. Oh shoot. And fire peas. How did it, yeah, okay. Well <laughs> Wow. Look at you go. And willow shade fruit. Oh, are you looking at the thing? <laughs> He's looking at a thing. <laughs> Let's go. We it's, it is absolutely Fair. Let's go. Yeah. What else? Keep it going. Anything else? Keep it going. That's... Not from there. I'm looking at the Kenneral store. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Good job. <laughs> and that's time. Okay. So I thought you guys were going to fail here, but you guys stole those three that I did not think of. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean Because we stole? may or may not have actually mentioned that on the podcast, but that's okay. <laughs> those were in Aaron's Herbs when we visited. That's true. It was in-game knowledge. <laughs> The other two fruits on the diet fruit were tomatoes and pears. I specifically have a quote from Yori saying, is tomato even a fruit? <laughs> so that's a good one. The apples were talked about by Wu after the fortune telling. Uh, How long does this tree produce fruit? We had an apple tree yesterday and it only produced fruit for about 10 minutes. Beets were mentioned in episode 16 when y'all went to gyms. Visit my friend Dwight on the other side. He definitely specializes in beets, but he also deals with turnips and carrots a lot. Just so. beat it, okay? Oh, I get it. That's clever. And he shakes three beets in the air. That's all the fruit and vegetables I had. So technically, I actually had less than you gave me. Let's so go. I'm going to give you both two rewards for this. So... This is six rewards, so let's go ahead and roll for these rewards. Let's do Yori. Go ahead and roll two d10s. Four and five. You receive a recipe book. With five, you receive a medium bag with two random items. Nice. Oh. Next up, loaf. Go ahead and roll a d10 and then a d10. A seven and a three. You have a fire-making supplies kit, which includes torches, flints, charcoal, and bundles of wood. That was the seven. Three is basic weapons. 50 arrows, oh. 10 javelins, and 10 daggers. Wow! Huh. Holy crap. Art, you're up. Okay. I got two fives. Nice. Oh, you man. receive a bath kit, shampoo, <laughs> brushes, and towels. Man, that's so lame. Back. <laughs> I got another one too. <laughs> Kitchen supplies. Kitchen supplies. Okay, that's fine. So we basically got stuff for a apartment. <laughs> this is great. Yes. So okay. So now, so you guys are now walking into your little hideout, <laughs> and Hermione says, "Oh, look, over here is where the beds are. You guys have some pretty basic beds. It's just like a really simple blanket and a small pillow. Here's here's some beds." You guys are welcome to stay here in the hideout, or you're welcome to sleep in your dorms. You technically still have your dorms for a little bit. But yeah, so here's a little hideout. Some beds over here. In this corner, there's a kitchen. It has the full kitchen supplies. It's got pans. Awesome. It's got pots. It's That's... got bottles. It's got utensils, forks and knives, whatever you want from in there. And then over here, here's a really nice bathroom. There's a really nice shower, a nice bathtub. You got shampoo. You got brushes. You got towels. You got everything you could want. So and hold then... on a second. You're telling me that my rewards... Were the leftovers of what you already had in our hideout? This is what was here for you guys. But you, <laughs> so this was always going to be here, but you guys, depending on how you guys did, changed how many things you got. 
Does that make sense? So this is stuff that's going into our air quotes apartment. Yes. Okay. I understand. So this is not like an additional bath kit and an additional kitchen supplies. Our apartment's furnished because we did so well. Correct. On board. Continue. Yeah, so you have this, and then you have this area over here. I call it the weaponry area. There's 50 arrows, 10 javelins, 10 daggers. Dang. Over here, we have a, we have a, a fireplace, and it, we have lots of sacks of wood right here. We got some torches right here. You got everything you'll need to make a fire. You got the charcoal, you got the flint. And then here's a medium bag. This was, this is one of our previous people's stuff. And then she opens it up. Yori, go ahead and roll. And Loaf, go ahead and roll a D100. Rolled a 39. 56. Gonna get another bath kit. <laughs> I'd be so mad. <laughs> you get a bottle of horse shampoo. <laughs> Ooh. That's not horse shampoo. What is that? That is cool. Oh. That's what it is. While in the dark below. What? So the two items were the darkened dagger. It's a weapon worth 10 gold pieces. Melee, light, finesse, and throwable. Gets plus four attack while in the dark below, and the damage is 1d10 piercing damage. Oh, dang. Is Yeah, it's pretty pretty awesome. It's also like, if you ever played Skyrim, think of the Daedric dagger, but glowing purple. It's beautiful. The second item, it is a ball cap that is basically red with some black veins or thorns coming out of the bill. Very cool. I think that's um, fitting for Loaf because he's he yeah, has a lot of swag, <laughs> you know? And he needs the wisdom. The cap is worth three gold pieces. It is obviously headwear, but it gives plus one to your wisdom score. Yeah, so this is your guys' stuff. We can keep it here over here in the armory, in the weaponry section with the other daggers and arrows that you have. We'll keep that over there. Feel free to pick those up as you need. Feel free to store whatever items you have. If you want to get your items out of storage, we can keep them here in the hideout. And this can kind of be your home base. We can start all your missions out here. I have all kinds of missions I, I, I want to be able to send you guys on. But before I get to the missions, here's actually a recipe book really quick. And she hands you a book. If nobody's going to call dibs, I'd like dibs on that dagger. <laughs> it's a finesse I, weapon. <laughs> I was going to say... I would like it. Well, obviously, we all like it. <laughs> I put on the hat. I just I just grab yeah. the hat and put it on. <laughs> Lo just takes the hat for wisdom. The hat is 100% cursed. Like, like look yeah, at it. Yeah, but I mean, it makes Looks me like look like I'm Chad cool. I'll be, like, yeah, exactly. I'll get more Chad energy, too. You know, pick up her More Chadism. Chadism. <laughs> Let me have the knife for now. I'll give it to you later. Yeah, okay. Un- unironically. Like the no, ice un- arrows? Un- no, un- unironically, like out of character, I'll give it to you later. I just, I just need it for, for something. What? Okay. Yeah, unironically. Interesting. Okay, so these are the five recipes in your recipe book. You have the recipe for potion of climbing. It takes a talon. It takes two wolf spider hair, and it takes a dragonfly. You have the recipe for potion of greater healing. It takes a bright bloom seed, one swole shroom, four amanita shrooms. The recipe for oil of sharpness. A dragon scale, purple flurp, and oil. Purple flurp. Recipe for Mountain Dew <laughs> is lightning moss and charcoal. If we find purple flurp, I am just drinking that thing. <laughs> so cool. Recipe for red fern potion, red amanita shroom, two flame lilies, and a halu shroom. Man, there's a bunch of different mushrooms. That's your recipe book. These are some of my favorite recipes. Honestly, like these are so super really nice. I'm a big fan of Mountain Dew. And this oil of sharpness, you can put it on your arrows, and it makes the arrows do more damage. It's pretty awesome, honestly. But let's go ahead and talk about the missions. I, there's actually a lot of stuff I want to do with this, like, internship. I really want to find out more about the all kinds of stuff, honestly. I have some, some like, side quests of my own that I'm hoping that you guys can help me out with. But, yeah, so here's a mission board. And every time you complete one of the missions on the mission board, you're going to earn something new for the hideout. Hmm. You'll get to roll another D10 and earn another object for for your hideout. Okay. And big motivation factor for you guys is at the end of the list is a bag of holding. Ooh. So if you want a bag of holding, keep Ooh. knocking out missions on the mission board. <laughs> so, so she goes ahead and says, here's the mission board. And she slaps her hand on the wall. Says, these are the four current missions available for you guys. Do you want to go ahead and read these out, Yori, so that Art can understand them? Rude. <laughs> sure. 
It says, locate Doom Island. I think the Golden Stone Ring is the key to preventing Mount Doom's eruption. Yeah, so this is the ring. This is the Golden Stone Ring. It's my ring. I'm a big fan of this ring. I think it goes to Mount Doom, and if you do, like, a little thing at Mount Doom with the ring, it'll print the eruption. You know, like that. There's a big eruption that's, like, foretold by Aunt Wu going on over there on Doom Island. So do we just uh, throw it in or something? <laughs> Maybe. I'm not sure. So right now your mission is just to find it. Just to find Doom Island. Don't take the ring anywhere. This is my ring. And she puts it back on her hand. Okay. Wait, so you have the ring? Yeah. Why do we need to go to Doom Island? Because I think the ring needs to go to Doom Island in order to prevent the eruption. But I'm not really sure. It's, a, it's kind of a theory. The ring needs to go to Doom Island, but the Mount Doom's eruption is... Wait, so Mount Doom and Doom Island are in different places? No, Mount no. Doom is on Doom Island. Oh. What's what's trying to erupt at the uh, in Mahogany Town? That's the erupt the dawn. That's that's uh, Ember Peak. That's not about to erupt. Aunt Wu oh. predicted safety for the next year. Oh, <laughs> she like a groundhog. So yes. <laughs> so you don't. <laughs> we'll move on to the second mission. Loaf, do you want to read the second mission? Yeah, but I'm still talking about the first one. <laughs> oh, okay. What's the first one? What else? Okay, so like you want to keep the ring. But then you also say it's the key to preventing Mount Doom's eruption. So does that mean if we go to Doom Island, we're going to take that ring to Doom Island, right? To locate Doom Island. As long as you know where it is, then you completed the mission. Do you just know of Doom Island? You've never actually... Like, how do you know of Doom Island if we're just supposed to locate it? Yeah, so I overheard Stoic and Valakut talking about Doom Island. There's some sketchy stuff going on with the High Council. I'm really kind of... Okay. I kind of want to figure things out on my own without having to depend on them. Well, that seems weird, Hermione. Why is that weird? (laughs) Because, I mean, I I don't understand. Stoic and Valakit are the High Council. They're trusted, especially Stoic. Valakit, we don't really know that well, but, like, Professor Stoic? Come on, man. That dude's a Chad. This is Chief (laughs) Stoic. It's not a professor. He's not a professor here. Listen. He's a chief. (laughs) I've learned more from Stoic than any of my professors, so he is professor to me, ma'am. Okay, that's fair. That's understandable. That's understandable. Did not mistake my words. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. I trust Stoic. I'm just a little bit weary of him. Well, so just a, just a little bit. Oh, I'll, I think I'll it's be okay honest. to be a little bit weary of the adults, right? I'm a little leery of you. So, okay. That's understandable, I suppose. Let me just drop this thing. So remember, guys, uh, Hermione, you can listen in on this, too. Remember when we had to go find the Birkstone? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So, Hermione, what are, what are, ex- what are the exact details about the uh, Birkstone again? What about it? Can you just recap the story for us real quick? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the heart music plays, and it kind of plays all of episode oh, eight, great. and then the heart music great. plays out. Um, Appreciate that. No. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> yeah, so basically... Someone stole it. Someone broke into the library and they stole the Birkstone. And then we worked as a team and we interrogated Arwen and we interrogated yeah. Malphite. So the, the stone that we found was the Birkstone. Yeah, the one that Malphite stole and buried. And You're sure of that? Oh. I think so. Are you sure? Because I've been told otherwise. Really? Who would have told you otherwise? Fortuna, whatever that lady was that we went and saw. Fortune, the lady, that, that lady. What was her name, guys? Aunt Wu? Yeah, Aunt, Aunt Wu. Wu. The Aunt lady Wu. we were just talking about. <laughs> yeah, Aunt Wu. <laughs> oh, why would she have told you that? When she told me my fortune, that's one of the things she told me was that the Birkstone was fake. It was fake? Yeah. It's a fake? And she runs out of the room and grabs the Birkstone out of, from under the glass case. This is a fake? And then she throws it on the ground and it shatters. Oh my oh. god. How do we know that you didn't steal the Birkstone and have us go find this this fake to put it back? Why would I do that? I would have just replaced it and nobody would have questioned it. I would have just put the fake there. You didn't know where the fake was. I would have made one if I wanted to steal the Birkstone. I don't know if I trust you. But yeah, guys, that's a fake, obviously. You want to roll insight? Yeah, I do. Why would you not trust her and you, you would trust Malphite? Did Malphite actually steal it? Or someone stole it and then hit it. Oh my god. Uh, go, ahead, go, go, ahead, go ahead and roll insight. Insight. All right, here we go. Maybe we need to slap Malphite around again. That's a natural one. Oh no. You really aren't sure. You're, you're just confused. You're lost. Yeah. <laughs> he 
<laughs> you got nothing. You have no idea. You think it? I have a headache. Is what I have. Yeah, honestly, one of the shards of the fake Birkstone shot up and hit you in the head, and it's oh, that's like great. kind of bleeding uh, a little bit. Cool, cool. <laughs> oh, are you okay there, Art? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to break this. You're honestly right. The Birkstone Society is kind of like fallen apart since since Malphite stole it. That kind of makes sense. It's no longer. It wasn't real. So Malphite still has my stone? That's what it sounds like. Uh, I guess we're going to have to like find it. him again. Yeah. We have to talk yeah. to him for sure. And then she rips a mission off the board. Which one's the least important? No, not that one. I want, I want to do that one. <laughs> she rips a mission off the board. I want to do that one. She says, okay, we can- I'm not ripping any of the missions off the board. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm putting a new mission on the board. <laughs> here at the bottom. <laughs> okay. Here's a new mission. Find Birkstone. I want to find my Birkstone back. That was my Birkstone. Is it your Birkstone? Yeah. I mean, it's... Yeah, it is. Mm. Okay, it's technically the school's Birkstone yeah, that not- I watch over. Yeah. Okay. So not yours. So it seems like we need to uh, find Malphite again, and uh, we're going to really have to really have to teach him a lesson, it seems like. Yeah, we should interrogate him again. I mean... <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know about like, that. Let's do it. Th- let's do that after we review the rest of the missions on the quest board. <laughs> Yori, <laughs> Yori, go ahead and read this third one. Uh, excuse or me. This se- oh yeah. You didn't ask me to read anything. I no. Loaf, Loaf was supposed to read this one. Oh yeah, Loaf one. was supposed to read the second one. Yeah, yeah. And Art, take a step back. Go ahead, Loaf. You're gonna read the third one, Art. So you do want, do you want me to read? As soon as we finish reading these four quests, we'll go hunt Malphite down because I'm mad. I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, All right. <laughs> perform reconnaissance of the Galgari Badlands. Note: there is a side quest to find Valka's ring for six hundred gold pieces. Whoa! For this mission, I'm really just looking for you guys to kind of. Like, just go to the Golgari Badlands and see what it's about. I've never been there. I've heard that there's some bad things going on there, but I just hear bad things. Nobody's willing to say what's going on there. And I heard that there was a count over there that's kind of like the guardian of the Golgari Badlands. Maybe you could go visit him. Oh, Count Deku? Count Deku. Count Deku. Mm, yeah, Count yeah. Deku. I, I like... Yeah, I'm, I think he's the one. Yeah, I'm very interested in uh, the 600 gold pieces by finding that ring. Yeah. The, the, yeah. That is a good idea, too. Yeah, good Honestly, that would, that would help a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Art, do you want to read the third one? Yeah, absolutely. Art cracks his knuckles and starts to read it. Gets real close. Uh, all right. V- viz- visit Black 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 Thor Thorn Black Visit 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 Black Thorn. Uh, I'm just watching. Fly, I, don't, I don't even care. Library. Library. So visit Blackthorn <laughs> no. Library and uh, I, I look, look for, for bu- books regard regard regarding um stor stir mount stir ma stir ma ha stir ma how stir ma hound <laughs> visit Blackthorn Library. And look for books regarding Sturmhound, Treasure, <laughs> Treasure Island, Treasure Island, and his Berry, berry Treasure. Uh, okay, so it's uh, visit Blackthorn Library and look for books regarding Sturmhound, Treasure Island, and his buried treasure. Okay, yeah, did you get that? <laughs> Yeah, that was really good, Art. I'm very, very proud of you. And then the last one is Yori. You can read this last one. Investigate the black smoke coming from the. I didn't Isles. understand you, Yori. Ooh, look at me. I have I no can idea read. what you said. <laughs> what are you? What are you saying? I'm sorry. I, I'm pretty sure Art spoke more clearly than you did. So I need you to slow oh, does, down, does he, does he, Yori. Does he want to read the last one? It's called diction. So okay. What? So the key thing for the black smoke one is. <laughs> All you have to do to complete this mission is find out where the black smoke is coming from. Not necessarily, like, <laughs> solve it or... Uh, it says coming from the Haunted Isles. Yep, solve it. Says, you just <laughs> want to... You said investigate, know where it's coming from. It's coming from the Haunted Isles. Yeah. But where right. inside of the Haunted Isles? The Haunted Isles is, like, multiple islands. So you have to go find which island. 
it just says investigate the black smoke coming from so if i were to walk over or we were to go over to the haunted aisles and see black smoke coming from haunted aisles would that be sufficient as long as you know what island it's coming from on the haunted well, aisles. it doesn't say that specifically it just says from the haunted aisles it doesn't say from a specific aisle on in the haunted aisle she pulls up a little portion of the mission board that was covered and it says specifically which island <laughs> <laughs> weird to, weird that it would uh, be covered like that she covered it with the find the burke stone yeah it was you're it right, was covered right. with the find yeah. the burke stone <laughs> <Yeah>. mission <laughs> okay and then the, the last mission that you guys have is find the burke stone that's number one priority now i think we have to find that burke stone what does the burke stone do dark magic <laughs> that's i think i think it's the key i think it's a very important key all right, follow-up question. What's it the key for? I don't know. Okay, why is it kept in a library at an academy if it's the key to a, something to do with dark magic? It's a theory that it's about dark magic. It's more of like a my theory. I don't really know for sure. You have no idea. Yeah, but Dr. Agen found See? it on a traveling, and he brought it back, and he didn't know what to do with it. And then when he disappeared suddenly, I... it. Fell into my hand, so I, I've been taking care of it at the library. Uh, you took care of it. It's it's gone now. Yeah. Oh shoot! And then she kind of she kind of flusters and looks down, all sad. I lost. It's it. It's okay. Loaf. I'll uh Go I'll find it. I'll find it. Uh, you know I'll make sure that uh, you will. You know Yori doesn't mess this up. We'll uh, we'll make sure things go smoothly. Uh, you know Art and I will. And you'll bring it back to me, Loaf. I mean, you know. Uh, I do like long walks on the beach. You know, we could uh, work something out. Maybe get a martini or... Uh, yeah, that would be amazing. great. I would love to visit West Palm Beach. There's actually some really nice things there. Like the... Ah, uh, I won't spoil it. You, know, you you and me, you know? You know, just just the two of us. Just and the Birthstone. Yeah. <laughs> and the Birkstone, that's right. Just the two of us. And the Birkstone. I like that hat, by the way. That cap is pretty sweet. Yeah, I know. I look pretty ballin'. Yeah, yeah no cap, bro. I want to go to the PS1 real bad. Okay. For what? We can go to the PS1 really quick. Y'all haven't seen what's in the store there, so that's probably a good idea. Yeah, let's go to that. Yeah, potions. So y'all walk into the potion shop, and Doofenshmirtz is behind the counter. And he says, hello, guys. Hey, hello. Hey, hey, guys. Welcome to the potion shop one. It's very nice to see you guys. Here is all of our wares. I know this time you're actually here as like customers, right? Yeah. Yeah. We have a gold potion, a mana potion, potion of healing. We have antitoxin. And then we have a mystery potion. Hmm. You interested in the mystery potion this time? What is up with you in this mystery potion? Buffy likes your blood. Uh, okay, that's weird. Just to confirm, DM, what do his eyes look like? Blue eyes, but okay. for you, they're kind of burning orange. Okay. You look at his heart, and you can kind of see his heart beating. Can I roll a medicine check or something on the mystery potion? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Go ahead and roll uh, medicine on the mystery potion. That's fine. I'm wondering what the whole gold potion thing, so, you know, mm. you pay five plat pieces. When ingested, you poop gold pieces. So if we gave it to our dragons when they're full grown, the imagine the <gasps> amount of gold you would get out of the dragon. <laughs> like, just a full grown dragon doo-doo, you know, it's going to be massive amount of gold. Listeners, there is a gold potion <laughs> that is worth five plat pieces. <laughs> it's when ingested, you poop gold pieces. Duration, 1d4 days. <laughs> oh my God. It's amazing. <laughs> so I rolled a 9 for the mystery potion medicine check. You think it looks safe? That's great. Vial of kerosene. Huh. Do, do you live here? That's yeah, I live, in, I, li I live in the back. I live in the back. Okay, cool. cool, cool. Buffy's not here right now, though. So she's, she's out. She's visiting her sister in Mahogany Town. So, uh... Oh, is okay. It, what's her name? How long will she be gone? Oh, Buffy's sister's name is Ebony. Okay. So is there anybody hanging in the cage back there? Oh. Anybody that we know? Uh, let me go check. Let me go check. <laughs> <laughs> and then he doesn't move. Uh, <laughs> look, you already know I've been back there, so I mean, you might as well just like, you know, you know, go check. You want me like, to go, go check? that way. And I, po I point toward the door. That's checking. Go check. Uh, okay. And then he doesn't move. So, 
I'm going to do this. So you said Buffy's not here, right? Yeah, Buffy's okay. not here. Who else is here? Nobody, just us four. Okay, so I'm going to go back and check. <laughs> uh, okay, that's fine. All right, and Art Can I? goes and tries. Do I have the knife? Yeah, you have the darkened dagger, I believe. Can I just plunge it into his heart? <gasps> yes, yes, you may. Okay, cool. Because he is completely caught off guard, he is defenseless, and he falls over dead. I look over and... But, what? Uh, All right. Uh, Art, you wanted this knife, right? And I, <laughs> I very, like, shakily, like, hand it over to him. Um, excuse me. And that's the end of the episode. Thank you, guys. What? And this episode was voiced by Harrison Clark as Art, William Brito as Loaf, David Kelly as Yori, and edited and DM'd by Harrison Weiss. Please follow us on X at Tides of Terragos or on Patreon at patreon.com slash Tides of Terragos. I wasn't paying attention. Sturmahow, Sturmahow, Sturmahound. Ha 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 